Hello guys, Niker here. Uh, yesterday I've posted uh, this machine, this scrap factory that is self-powered uh, that I made as response to B00's challenge. <laughs> and uh, yeah, yesterday, uh, shortly after I uploaded it, I have seen another response uh, by Mondev LP. And his version was a lot smaller. It was uh, based on similar principle with the scrap boxes burning in the generator, but uh, my version is more efficient by a few percent because of this circuit. Uh, in his in his version, each of uh, part of each of the scrap boxes that is burned in the generator is wasted. So my design is more efficient, but I really liked his design and uh, the way he uh, generates cobblestone and so I decided to make a version 2.0 and make it a hybrid between my system and his, kinda. <laughs> so this is the version 2.0, it's much smaller, more compact and I think it's even more efficient. <sighs> so, <laughs> where to begin? So, we have the three Ignos extruders connected directly into the recyclers. So, each of the recyclers has uh, its own supply of cobblestone. So, it can keep up. So, it's basically, in reality, uh, it's three times faster than, than my last machine but with s similar or better efficiency because the cabling is now shorter <clears throat> okay so uh, the cobblestone is fed into recyclers recyclers recycle uh, in the middle of the three recyclers there's a crafting bench again crafting into scrap boxes uh, only one redstone engine uh, pulling the scrap boxes into this chest now i think you can use uh, some of the gates I have no idea how to how to use it to pull from from out a crafting table. <laughs> I tried and failed at it badly. So <clears throat> this can be compacted further. And yeah, this filter takes uh, the scrap boxes from the chest. And again, the same principle as before. The generator is closer to the filter, so the the generator will first fill up to 64 to, to full stack. And once it's full, the surplus will go into the matter fabricator. So the matter fabricator must be uh, must be further away than, than the generator from the filter. So that's pretty much it always will be. Okay, the generator is powering the first battery box. And this is set to output nothing, no redstone signals. And this battery box is charging the second battery box, which is uh, set to output when partially filled. So we are getting a redstone signal when it's full and when it's empty. We are getting a short redstone pulse in, in these cases. So once this will start depleting, it will, it will be partially filled, send a signal and it will uh, it, it will enable or disable charging. In this case, this should be set this way, I think. Yeah, so now it will partially, f it, it will be discharging, and since it was full before, the charging will now stop. Yeah, uh, this is the way it's supposed to be set. Okay, and the rest is just uh, cabling from this battery box to the recyclers. I have cut this line to, to disable it to show you. But I will replace it and we will see how this goes. But I suppose this will be pretty awesome. So thanks to thanks to the uh, circuit like we used before, uh, we are not wasting even even a promille or even a one percent from uh, each of the scrap box. So the scrap box will not burn if there is any power in in this in this battery box once this battery box is empty this battery box will start to charge it it will invoke the generator and once this is filled again it will cut itself off and shut down the generator so 
nothing is wasted. There, there is a 40k EU uh, buffer that will make sure that basically it would uh, only get wasted if one scrap box gave us more than 40k EU and that's not the case. So let's turn this on. Okay, it's powered. No scrap boxes in the system. Uh, I'm only running it out of power now. So yeah, our servers are running. Uh, again, I've seen some comments uh, to put overclockers into the recyclers. Uh, if you do that, there is uh, I think I think the power consumption increases by about forty percent, thirty six percent or something, uh, with with four uh, overclockers. So no, that's that's really not the way to do it because. We are dealing with very little surplus energy that we need to use to create the extra, uh, the extra scrap boxes. So we must be as efficient, as power efficient as possible. As you can see, yeah. So the generator is, mm -mm -mm. yeah. This will only invoke once, and the next scrap box should be. The next scrap box should should not be consumed because the generator just got filled and the battery box is full, is disconnected and this one is discharging. So it's cut off. Now when the second arrives, I will just wait for one and then time skip to some... <laughs> when, it, when it actually produces something, some surplus. Yeah, it, uh, come on. Just one more. Just one more. Is it coming? Yeah, there it is. Yeah, and as you can see, it's just laying there because the generator is full and this battery is full as well. And once this depletes, uh, once this battery box depletes, it will send the short redstone signal. It will cut this battery cable, uh, allow this battery cable. This battery box will charge this one uh, and will, will charge itself from the generator. And once this is full again, it will send another signal to cut it off again so it will basically it will cycle like this so we are basically cycling this battery box up and down and uh, when it's when it's di discharging the generator will not run at all S saving us some precious <laughs> some precious scrap boxes. Okay, so I will time skip now. I will leave this running and I will get back to you in... it's 16.30 now, so yeah, well, I'll see you later. Okay, it's now half an hour, so let's check out the state. This is empty, this is full, generators offline, and we have 28 scrap boxes and rising. And of course nothing in a matter fabricator until this is full. So I estimate about hour and a half, 29, <laughs> maybe hour and a half uh, after that this will get full. And yeah, I, I'm one thing, I'm us not using scrap directly, but I, I'm using those scrap boxes. So these 29 scrap boxes in 30 minutes, that's pretty much uh, 29 times 9, 261 scrap, actually. And if you put scrap box into the matter fabricator, uh, it will function that way. So uh, one scrap box is worth nine scrap in the matter fabricator. So it's far better on space and it functions absolutely the same in the matter fabricator. Like if you put ten, uh, nine scraps or one scrap box, it doesn't matter, it's the same. Okay, so I will leave this running for a while. I will leave this fill up and we will see the result. Okay, and we are back. It's been exactly an hour and a half. And the state is we, have, we are full of scrap boxes. So the system just produced a stack of scrap boxes. This is full, this is emptying. So the power is still there and we are getting surplus of course i have this incorrectly hooked up so it's going into a wrong slot but we got seven scrap boxes and since we can somehow extrapolate that uh, 
we got about a stack per mm, per hour and a half. So 64 divided by 3, we get 21 something. So say 20, <laughs> 20 scrap boxes per half an hour. That's 40 scrap boxes per hour. Mm, times 9 is 360 scrap per hour. That's not too shabby. <laughs> yeah. So I guess this is working. Now I will do a short recap. So <laughs> if you're not interested. So once again, three extruders. You need to put water and lava to, uh, to these uh, with buckets or with pipes or whatever you prefer. Just prime them. They are set to always work without redstone signal. They have output on, at the bottom and input, it doesn't matter. Set to cobblestone. Uh, okay, the recyclers, no... Uh, no... no uh, that's, yeah, what? Oh, what are these? No upgrades. <laughs> no upgrades in them. Uh, the crafting table with the scrap box recipe. You can uh, you can do this differently, but this is what I picked. Uh, pumping into a chest because I don't think you can uh, pull with a filter from the outer crafting table. I'm not sure. Uh, the filter pumping into a generator. The scrap boxes as a fuel. Uh, matter fabricator must be on the same line, but uh, at least one block further away, the pipe must be longer. Longer, and yeah, a timer. Hey, come on, a timer. Whatever, you, you don't need to set this too low. Uh, this this is for the redstone engine, the, the lever, and here at the top. So the generator is powering this. Uh, the battery box is set to not output any energy, any redstone signal. Splitter cable, another bed box, outputting when partially filled. This is a state cell set to 4 seconds. This is to prevent fluctuations. So we only get a very short signal when the state cell changes. So when it is full or when it is empty, it takes 4 seconds. And when it, when it stays at, in, that stays for, uh, in that state, for 4 seconds, we will get the short burst of redstone signal. Uh, this is just for convenience, so it, <laughs> it doesn't link to anything. And we are getting into a sequencer, and this sequencer toggles the, the use spreader cable. These are uh, quite quirky, so <laughs> uh, yeah, you, you, need, you need to set up like this, and they need a strong signal, so you need to uh, have a block that emits redstone signal right next to them. You cannot use a cable. So so a repeater or, or a sequencer. And that's pretty much it. So I hope you like this new design. It's <laughs> I think it's a lot cleaner because I was experimenting a lot before. And it's simple. It uses uh, all the advantages of, m of my old setup and uses uh, the ideas the ideas I, I've seen in the video uh, <laughs> of the other YouTuber, I just forget his name, some LP. <laughs> uh, yeah, I like this. I like this design. It was pretty cool, but I think this is this is faster, better. But um, I don't know. This is what I would build. <laughs> uh, well, I hope you like it, and I'll see you next time.